think I'm crazy. Edmund, your state of mind's been a little sketchy lately, having hallucinations. Go to hell, Dimitri. I'm not having them anymore. You said that you couldn't live without Alex, that you were ready to pick up and leave town because of it. So it stands to reason that I would what? Kidnap Alex and stuff her in the attic? She was on the yacht. You disappeared. Then she disappeared. I don't know the hows or whys. All I know is I want Alex back. I want her back, too. <sighs> Alex would never have left that yacht without me unless it was an emergency. I checked with the hospital. They haven't heard from her. She hasn't checked in. That means one thing. She left that yacht against her will. Okay. Well, then stop wasting time trying to blame me and start focusing on who might have taken her, okay? It wasn't me! Dimitri, I spent months trying to protect Alex, trying to reclaim her life, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you did then, and I appreciate it. I don't want your appreciation. I want you to use that head of yours. How could I possibly do anything to hurt her against her will, knowing what that would do to her? Look, I'll, I'll concede that Arlene was here. I'll, I'll concede that you, that you were mad enough to choke her, but there's no way you killed her, all right? It just didn't happen. Mateo, I felt for a pulse. There was no pulse. Okay. She was not then breathing. Then where's the body? There isn't a body because when you ran for help, she came to and she got the hell off the boat. Come on. Where are we going? We're going to talk, talk to, the, to the, some of the crew guys, you know, the guys that ran the launches. Maybe they remember. Adam, trust me, it's going to be okay, all right? Have a cup of coffee. Just the guy we wanted to see. What are you doing hey, here, Dad? I was about to ask you the same question. What's going on? Uh, Haley and I saw Arlene here last night. Uh, impossible. She wasn't on the guest list. Uh, like that would stop her. Anyway, we, we wanted to talk to some of the crewmen. Maybe they... They saw her, the, the guys that ran the launch? Uh, yeah, sure, except there's only one full-time crew guy. The rest I just hired for the parties. Oh, great. There goes no, that. Don't worry, we'll, we'll track them down. What's going on? Did she do something to you? Uh, can, can we talk to that guy, the, 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 the full-time guy now? Yeah, sure, I'll go get him. Okay. Haley, really? don't let your mind play tricks on you. Arlene wasn't here. No, no one's confused. I remember seeing her. I, I, she definitely was here. And I strangled her to death. No. I killed her. No. Right on I the don't deck. want you ever to say that again. Never. Sweetheart, you don't have it in you to be that, that vicious. Well, I thought that too, Dad, but I was wrong. Wrong about what? what? Uh, did you... So, can we talk to the crew guy? Uh, yeah, he went to shore for a little bit. I left him a note with your number. He'll call you. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll wait for his call. Now, uh, Ryan, you need to make a call yourself right now, don't you? I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Uh, I, I should be getting back home now, quickly. Uh, sweetheart, keep quiet. Don't worry. Take care of her. Yeah. Haley, can you please explain your father to me? Not in a million years. Why? What did he do now? Well, he started to lay into me about the party. He thought it got too wild. He thought it would put my company's future at risk. Adam tends to overreact. Wait, what if he's right? He's right? Well, the piece I shot for Wave will be positive. Huh. Uh, who cares what he thinks? You know, you were there. How, how do you think it went? Well, as far as I'm concerned, everything went exactly the way it should have. Jake, if I walk out that door now, We'll never get past the hurt we both feel right now. Oh, so once again, you think by staying you're going to make things better. <sighs> Jake, I don't want you to hate me. It is hard enough already to imagine my life without you. Jillian, I won't hate you. If you're here to ask for a divorce, I won't contest it. So just bring on the papers and I sign them right away. That's not why I don't want to talk to you. So now you don't want a divorce? No. That's not what I'm saying. Jake, what's taking you so... Hello, Jillian. Sorry to have interrupted. Is it really? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Now, when you finish this, 
I have apple, and I have pecan. Oh, no, thank you. Pumpkin <laughs> is my favorite. It looks delicious. Oh, oh it mm, is delicious. Yes. Dad. Boo. Are you up for a slice? No, Mom. Um, um, no, not right now, thanks. Oh. Well, what happened to Jake? Now, now tell me he snuck upstairs to watch football with the boys. Jake's in the kitchen with Jillian. Joe? Oh. Are they making up? What do you think? Oh, Lord. I don't know what gets into people. I think Jillian has thrown over one of the nicest guys that ever lived. I thought she really loved Jake. Oh, I think she did. She does. And she was so grateful when Adrian helped rescue Jake from Chechnya. You know, my granny says that your first love is the most powerful. So maybe if Jake had met Jillian first at some, you know? Maybe. Who's to say? Certainly not us. Well, I should be going. Oh. Dinner was just truly amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, are you sure I can't help you with the dishes? No, 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 but I will hear it. You know what? Um, I'm going to go, too. I, I just, I want to call my family when they're all in one spot, you know? But it was scrumptious, and thank you so much. <laughs> oh, a pleasure. I guess I better go oh. round up T.D. He's probably stuck to the two. Uh -huh. Let me go take a bite of this. Hi, Dixie. You barely touched your pie. I know. I'm so stuffed. I'm hurting. <laughs> I hope it's not a touch of whatever it was went around on that boat last night. You know, I think I'd like to try the pecan. No adverse reactions from last night here. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I had the time of my life. I loved that yacht and every minute on it. The Grand Salon was so spectacular, wasn't it? I, did you see the staterooms? Mm. I mean, I snuck into one of them, uh, you know, to freshen up. It was fabulous. Mm. Perfect for a tryst. <sighs> I've really never considered myself nautical, but I, I could really get into owning a boat like that. And all the perks that go with it. <laughs> oh, yes. There you go. Thank you. Nice. Oh, it looks delicious. Mm.